Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews. This is a review of the Superman, the Action Comics, Archives, Volume 1, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. I was looking for this book for a while. I'm glad I was able to find it uh, new and for like 50% off the cover price. Uh, this actually, there's a distinction to be made. There's the Superman Archives and the Superman the Action Comics Archives and they're not the same thing. Uh, that could be confusing because Superman is in there in both. It says Superman there, Action Comics Archives Volume 1. If you look at the back covers, here it is. It says, representing from the Golden Age of Comics, the earliest adventures of the Man of Steel from Action Comics. Classic shot of Superman, lifting that car from Action Comics 1. The inside cover. It's a light blue Superman symbol from the early style. It's a little uh, raised up there when you feel it. Uh, silver here. It's actually not too thick. Uh, that's one of the, the negatives I would give for a... For a retail cover price of $50. Uh, I thought it should be a little thicker overall. It's not too thick, but... These are, for any Superman fan, like the earliest issues in color, like must-gets. One thing to notice here, that is a pretty weird opening inside splash page cover. This includes Action Comics number one, but it does not include Action Comics number two to six. And uh, let me repeat that, it does not include two to six. That is because in the other Superman Archive Volume 1, which I have a review on. Uh, I'll link it in the description uh, to that review. That has issues 2 to 6 in that issue because the issues there were reprints from what was here. And then it gets issue 7 to issue 20. So it's from Issue 1, and then issue 7 to 20 are in this volume. Okay, you got the introduction. Number 1, Action Comics, June 1938. This is the cover of the comic that, if you have it, an original of this, uh, it sold for over a million dollars recently. This one comic. Getting to the review here. This is Action Comics number one. Uh, the very first story. Actually, uh, one thing to notice is if you have, and if you look at my other archive review, Superman 1 uh, archives, they have the expanded pages that were cut off here. Basically, there were more pages. In, in the first issue of Action Comics, but they were cut out. They were they were restored in the Action Comics Archive Volume 1. They did restore those pages as they should have been, but this represents the very first appearance of Superman and that first issue where the pages were cut and the story wasn't as detailed. And so that's what you get here. This is issue two. They didn't even have Superman on the cover. They just give a little synopsis of what happened. This is issue three. They didn't have Superman on the cover. Issue four. They didn't have Superman on the cover. See, they really didn't think Superman was a hit or they had a lot of faith in the character. They just... It was pretty much uh, an accident that the character got out there. It was never... They never knew what they had. Issue five. Not on the cover. Issue six. Action Comics. Not on the cover. Uh, here he is. December 1938, uh, Superman's on the cover, at last. Only took like five issues where he wasn't on the cover. The boots here look yellow. Uh, they, you could tell they were probably still experimenting on the styles and uh, the art was improving. This guy sort of looks like Jimmy Olsen, but he's not. He's like a jokester, trying to play pranks on Clark Kent. 
Again, you can see that yellow boots. This was about uh, Superman's in the circus, basically. Here, look at this. Uh, cover of issue eight. No Superman. And the funny thing is, uh, all these other covers that don't have Superman, the people on the covers, no one remembers who they are or their significance. They were characters that are forgotten in the history of comics. The art by Joe Schuster. Uh, again, art is an acquired taste. You like it or you don't. But I actually do like it. I like the style. I like how the characters are... You could actually... The storytelling is good. Issue 9. Superman not on the cover again. Smashing a tank. Looks like Action Comics 1 with the car. Probably the inspiration. Issue 10. Superman made the cover. One mighty hand taking down an airplane. Oh, very nice shot right there. Looks just like uh, Superman 1. I gotta check when this was uh, printed. They probably either took this from Superman 1's cover from this, or Superman 1 was the inspiration for this cover. This one was March 1939. Cover to issue 11. No Superman. Probably around here uh, was when uh, Schuster was having assistance. Uh, he had like a workshop later on to handle all of the art. Uh, it was too much for one person. And then it would be like a, a studio crew. And they would all help out. Cover to issue 12. No Superman except for that little uh, corner piece, which is uh, just a reprinted art right there. Some nice uh, opening page one, like almost half the page is sort of like a half a splash page. That's uh, another nice one. Issue 13, Superman stopping a locomotive. Oh, that's a classic Superman shot when you think about it. Stopping a train with one hand. Right there from Disaster. That's the type of shot they should use in a new Superman movie. Something like this. It also tells you what you need to know about the character from seeing something like that. Another good Superman shot. Cover to issue 14. Superman just reprinted in the corner there. And look at that. It says, A Zatara Adventure. Zatara, father of Zatanna. This actually... To me, doesn't look like Schuster's art right there. Probably by then it was uh, some of the assistants I mentioned were handling some of the art chores. Cover to issue 15. Looks kind of funny. Interesting shot. You could tell around by now, uh, Superman was probably pretty much established in the working method and how the character behaves and the visuals. They're pretty much all set. Issue 16. Superman's in the corner there, like a logo. Again, that reprinted art. But 
not on the, the cover at all. That's a pretty cool shot right there. Except it makes you think, is he destroying the building? Or is he trying to hold it up from disaster? Probably destroying it. Cover to issue 17. Classic Superman shot. That would be movie worthy right here. Uh, bad guys machine gunning him. He's lifting up, probably gonna toss over a tank. Nice cover. Looks like he's jumping up to a skyscraper here. Nice uh, coloring, as you can tell here. Hopefully it's coming through through okay. But has it right here. Cover to issue 18. World War II. Looks like no Superman, but they it has evolved that Superman is kind of like their cover logo in the side corner there, but not actually on the cover. Standard shot there, Superman. Cover to issue 19. That is a cool shot. Overhead, ripping something up. Another cool page here. And issue 20. Covered issue 20. That is a Another movie-worthy shot here. Uh, someone is trapped in a vault. Superman's just ripping the vault doors off. Uh, everyone is stunned. Uh, s stuff like this is what uh, a Superman movie needs to help get the character over and display his power. And actually helping people. Another good shot. Train coming along. Superman holding it up, the tracks. And with that, Superman archive is done with about 220 pages or so. Uh, no bonus material or anything. So for 220 pages, 50 bucks. Overall, it is a good uh, archive. Still would have liked it maybe to go to 250 pages or 275 pages. Still think for a $50 volume it could have just had uh, some more pages, a little more. But overall, if you could get this for a good deal at a convention, like 40% off maybe, uh, and you're a Superman fan, I would uh, recommend this. Only because uh, the first volume is the very earliest Superman stories, uh, the very uh, genesis of the character, if you will. And that's why it's really worth tracking down, and you could see how the character evolved. And how uh, the character's personality and stories evolved from those early issues. So there it is. Superman. The Action Comics Archive. Volume 1. Uh, if you see this cover in the, in the store, uh, you might want to take a look at it. So that's it. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later.